Hey everyone, welcome back to Observe. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and talk about something that I like to call flash memory. I covered it in a previous episode. And uh, apparently it's something of interest, so I'm going to go ahead and further this idea of flash memory. This little episode here is just going to be the introduction to a mini-series on flash memory and how to improve your mental capabilities. So, first things first, we want to be able to get some definitions out of the way. So, your memory works in two functional states. The first one is short-term, the second one is long-term. Short-term memory lasts only about three to five seconds. Some things that you would often put into your flash-term memory would be phone numbers, addresses, anything that you don't need to remember for a long time. Now that we have cell phones, we don't really need to remember that, so it just goes into our short-term memory. Earlier I said flash-term, I meant short-term. My bad. However, that being said, that is, that is your short-term memory, and since it only lasts three to five seconds, something that people often do to prevent themselves from forgetting this, this information is to repeat it over and over and over again until they use that information and then it goes away. Now your short-term memory is actually super, super necessary because if everything stayed into your long-term memory, then you never forget. And I could actually cover in another episode, if you're interested, the science and the, the philosophy behind why we forget something. It is actually really cool, but I won't cover that here. So, in your flash term memory, it only lasts three to five seconds and then it's gone. Now, the other side of this coin is your long term memory, which long term memory can actually last anywhere from a, an hour to years. And your long-term memory is necessary for things like birthdays and anniversaries and holidays. There's something that you put into your long-term memory and it lasts a while so that you can remember it repeatedly in the future. That's long-term memory and like I said, if you don't want to be overwhelmed with too much information, then you're going to need your short-term memory. However, it takes a lot of work to be able to put things into your long-term memory to store information in there. So that causes a little bit of a problem if you're under pressure. Now, one instance where you might want to be able to use uh, study techniques to be able to put stuff into your long-term memory without having to go through the time is for like planning for exams or or studying for quizzes or if there's something at your work that you need to remember quick but you don't have the time to sit down and pour over it and study it then what you want to do is be able to to work on this thing called flash memory and that is the process of taking information that would normally stay only in short-term memory and being able to store it in your long-term memory for later use. At the next episode we're gonna go ahead and start working through how to do that. A lot of people will use this technique for memorizing decks of cards or for counting cards and this memory concept actually plays into a memory palace which I'll do a series on how to create your own memory palace like Sherlock Holmes or Patrick Jane or yeah, those are about the only two that use a memory palace that I can think of. Um, and that'll be in another episode. However, for this episode, it's just an introduction, getting us started off into this little mini-series. It should only be about one or two, maybe three parts to this series about memory and flash memory and how to improve it. But that's all for today. I will see you again in a little bit. And uh, give some feedback. If you liked this, let me know. If you're interested, let me know. If you want, subscribe and you'll see more of these videos. And if you're not interested, then there's always the exit button. And have at it. Click away if you feel like it. But that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you around next time. I'm Logan. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching. Cheers.